It's our secret, okay? She showed me an expression of a naughty little girl that she would never show others in school. Her expression looked so attractive to me. Why did it happen? I remember something that happened a month ago. What should I do? I went up to the rooftop as usual at lunch break. The teacher asked me to do an errand, so I was late, and there was already someone at the place where I usually eat my lunch. And that person was... It might be because of it being warm outside, but she was sleeping like a baby. She's... Suzumiya-san, a girl who sits next to me. Why is she sleeping here? Shizuku Suzumiya. She's only 16, but she's super pretty, and is rumored to make everyone fall in love with her. I heard that she can get any boy to fall in love with her, but never shows her smile to boys. Of course, I've never seen her smile either, and have barely even spoken to her before. Her skin is so light that she's called Snow White. It's true, her skin is really light. I tried not to look at her much, but now that she's sleeping, I looked at her renowned beautiful skin. I'm not interested in girls much, but her unprotected legs could be really attractive to other boys. And then he was... <laughs> For real? That's too silly. Ah! Uh, oh no, someone's here! Being captured by Suzumiya-san, I heard voices and I looked around. An introvert like me with sleeping Suzumiya-san might cause some misunderstanding. I might not be able to come to school if something like that happens. I just have to leave here. But then I remembered how Suzumiya-san looked like and stopped. I heard a girl's voice, so it might be okay. But she's... Her unprotected white beautiful legs. I wondered if it was okay to leave her like this, looking at her legs that could arouse boys. Good! And after thinking for a few seconds, I came to a conclusion and put it into action. Putting my jacket on her would let her know that I was there, but it was better than her getting embarrassed. After that, I left in a hurry. Students whose voice I'd heard were new and they just came here to eat lunch. They couldn't see where we were, so I was able to leave without being seen. After school... Shoya Murata-kun? She spoke to me with an expression on her face that showed no emotion. Fortunately, her quiet voice wasn't heard by other students because the classroom was fairly noisy, it being after school. But her expression... What is it? Is she mad? And why did she call me by my full name? Can you hear me, Shoya Murata-kun? Oh, sorry. Wh what is it? What is it? You know it, right? Oh no, she's expressionless, but I think she's mad at me. Are you talking about what happened during the lunch break? Yes, can you stay until the others leave? She's gonna preach me. She's asking me to stay until others leave. She wants to be alone with me. She wants to be alone with me. She doesn't want others to hear what she's gonna say. She doesn't want others to hear what she's gonna say. She's gonna tell me something that she couldn't let others hear. So it means that she's gonna preach me. I thought of all of these in just one moment and I regret what I'd done at lunch break. I should not have put my jacket on her. That's right. She's Shizuku Suzumiya, who's famous for being noble. Why is she looking at me with no expression on her face? That's scary. I couldn't tell what she was thinking about so I couldn't help but scream like that in my mind. If I could only go back to lunch break. I seriously wish that. Are you listening to me? Y yes I'll stay. Why are you talking like that? Your posture and the way you talk are both weird. It's because you're freaking me out. Of course I couldn't tell her that. I I'm okay. It's nothing. Really? Oh well. Everybody went home already while we were talking. What? Oh. When did they? They went home while you were freezing. They all looked suspiciously at us. Suspiciously. Of course they did. A loner who didn't get along in the class was talking to Suzumiya-san, who was the most famous in our class. No, in the whole school. Lots of boys must have envied me. It was that rare to talk to her. Damn. They didn't know that she would start preaching at me. Let's go. Are we going somewhere? Then why did we have to wait until they went home? I did it for you. Everyone would look at us if you were walking with me, you know? Oh, I got it. They would look at us if I was walking with a famous girl like her. So she waited until they went home so that no one would look at us. But where was she taking me? I followed her, wondering these things. And we arrived at... 
the rooftop? Why are you surprised? What? Uh, because... The only things we have in common are our classroom and here, right? To be precise, we have gym and stuff as well, though... Yeah, but why are we here? I hid it here. What? Hid? What did you... I was gonna ask her when she looked at me, rolling her eyes. I kind of knew this, but you can be clueless. Oh, my jacket! So you... I'm astounded. You totally forgot about it. Did you give this to me as a present? I'm sorry. I don't know what to do when a boy gives me something that he'd been wearing. No, 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 no! Why are you saying that? It wasn't like that! Okay, I'm relieved. I don't like it when they give me presents. Was it only me or did she look a bit sad when she said so? I remember how lots of boys gave her presents to get her attention when we first entered high school. She must have hated that. I don't know much about her, but it might be the reason why she doesn't interact with others. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Because today is the only day we actually talk. Don't worry, I don't have enough money to give presents to others. Thanks for the jacket. I'll go. Are you going home? What? Well... You put your jacket for me, didn't you? So, I thought you were going to use that as an excuse to get to know me. I see. She was expressionless, so I couldn't tell, but she was skeptical of me. But then why did she ask me to come to the rooftop where she can't run away easily? I won't do that. Why not? Everyone else tries to take every opportunity to come near me. Well, I don't think it's right to use presents and stuff to get to know someone. If you really want to be friends, you should play fair. Though, this kind of thinking makes it hard for me to get to know others, and it's the reason why I'm always alone. Suzumiya-san must have thought that it was the reason why I'm a loner. I'm all talk and hopeless. <sighs> anyway, so you shouldn't worry about me. I'll go. See ya. Suzumiya-san? I... I have something to tell you. Something to tell me? What's going on? Somehow she seems different from her usual self. What's wrong? I haven't thanked you yet. Thank me? No, you don't have to. You didn't ask for me to put my jacket. I just did it myself. I just did what I had to do, and asking for something in return doesn't make sense. It's not right. It's just not right. But I want to. I didn't know Suzumiya-san was like this. I thought she was indifferent to other people. I shouldn't be changing the subject. Okay, then... How about eating lunch together? What? what Why? You always eat here, right? So there shouldn't be any problem. But that's not what I mean. And how do you know that I always eat here? I've never seen her at the rooftop until today. I was surprised to hear that she knew that I eat my lunch here. Because I eat my lunch here too. Really? I've never seen you here before. You were always here, so I ate at a place where you wouldn't notice. It's not that you don't care about others, but you try not to look at others, right? Oh! I try not to look into other people's eyes, just as she said. I'm scared of what they think of me and I feel isolated. Suzumiya-san seems as if she doesn't care about people, but she's actually very observant. But you want to be friends with others, right? Huh? There seems to be a contradiction, but if you are isolated even though you don't want to, it's understandable. And if I stay by your side, don't you think it will solve your problem? That's why you're asking me to eat lunch with you? But you have nothing to gain. Don't you want to be alone? Not really. It's my own way of thanking you, so I'm fine. Really? You seem like a different person today. If I look different, that's who I really am. What do you mean? It's a secret. You might not understand because you're clueless. After saying that, she walked past me and went to the door. It's a deal. I'll be mad if you break our promise, okay? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll keep it. Good. And don't tell anyone about this, okay? I won't. But why? Do you understand? I want to keep it quiet. Oh, okay. If everyone knew that she was eating lunch at the rooftop, boys would come as well. Then she wouldn't be able to eat quietly. That's why she's been coming to the rooftop to eat alone. And? 
What? It's a bit exciting to have a secret relationship. Huh? I'll go now. You should go home too. Saying that, she left the rooftop. As of me? What was that? That was too much. Suzumiya-san is just too cute. A charming smile and naughty words. The difference from her usual self, I felt for a moment as if I was shot through the heart. But she definitely doesn't want someone to show her affection. I didn't feel anything a while ago. What should I do with this feeling? As soon as she notices my feelings for her, she would stay away from me. That means there will be no promised time together. It was totally fine when I had no feelings for her, but now it's different. I do have feelings for her. Spending time with her alone without letting her notice how I feel about her seemed too difficult for me. I only saw her smile once and now I'm falling for her. Am I so easy? I left the rooftop, being fascinated by a moment of her charm. Suzumiya-san and I started eating lunch together every day. To be honest, I was very nervous. What? You read not only manga, but also love Nobel as well? Yes, I like them, and I also watch anime. I'd never imagined you like that. I thought you always study and have no interest in those kind of things. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a normal girl, so I'm interested in that kind of thing. Our conversation went more smoothly than I expected. She has a unique way of choosing words, so it's fun to talk to her. A normal girl? <laughs> You're an otaku just by the way you look. What? Um, well... You don't have to hide it. It's good that you have something that you can be passionate about. Oh. What? Oh, it's nothing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's giving me a cold look. But I can't possibly tell her that her smile is so cute. I don't know. The more I try to tell myself that I shouldn't think of her, the more I think of her. But Suzumiya-san is really pretty. We've been eating lunch together for these past few days and my feelings for her have gotten bigger and bigger. It's just impossible not to think about her when we're all alone. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong? You're strange, Murata-kun. What? It doesn't feel bad to be with you. As a matter of fact, it feels good when I'm with you. You really think so? Yeah, I don't know why you've been a loner. Did she just call me a loner? Yep, she did. Of course, I don't have the courage to confront her in person. And Suzumiya-san didn't say anything else after this, and I didn't know what to do. But she would change dramatically after this day. I'll feed you, Murata-kun. What? What's going on all of a sudden? Just open your mouth. She tried to feed me like this and... You get sleepy when you're full, right? You can take a nap on my lap. N no that's no good. Just lie on my lap. She tried to make me lie on her lap. She acted very strange. Moreover, these incidents occurred not only once but almost every day. I couldn't help but feel very confused. Well... Of course, I was flattered, though. Today... Wait! What? Are you still pretending as if you don't want to? I'm not pretending. She knows! I haven't actually pretending not to like it, but she knew I was happy inside. She's got good intuition. It's not that, but why are you doing this? You wouldn't have done something like this before, right? Because... Uh, you're so clueless. What? Even the most clueless would know how I feel by now. But I guess not. You have no idea what I'm talking about, right? Well... See? But that might be one of the things I like about you. Uh, Suzumiya-san! I've always been afraid of being with someone until now. Their eyes looked so scary. Even if they're smiling, their eyes show that they want something from me. Even the eyes of girls showed how jealous they were. But I feel relieved when I'm with you. Staying by your side feels good, Murata-kun. That's why I want to become a person who can always be with you. But I'm... I'm not as good as you think. I'm a loner in the first place. Being a loner doesn't define who you are. And I'm a loner too. You don't want to be with me, Murata-kun? That's impossible! 
<laughs> Great! You told me before that I look different. Yeah, I remember saying that. I usually keep certain distances from other people trying to act cool. But I already knew that you were okay at the time. So, I let you see my true self a bit. That's my answer to your question. Then she thought I was worthy of showing her true self since then. I'm so glad. And the way she's acting now shows... Um, can I talk to you, Suzumiya-san? Is that okay? Yep, I'm all ears. Um, will you go out with me? It hasn't been long since I fell in love with you, but I really like you, Suzumiya-san. So please, go out with me. I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to tell me how you feel this directly. Of course, my answer is yes. I'll never allow someone I don't like to lie on my lap. And then she opens her mouth with a naughty smile on her face. Then she got really close and looked into my eyes directly. I'm just trying to play it cool, but the real me can be a handful and needy for your attention. So be prepared. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Good. And this is very exciting. Let's keep it our secret, okay? She shows me a naughty smile of a little girl that she would never show to other people at school. Her expression is attractive and I swear to myself that I'll try my best so that I can make her happy. <laughs>